You want to go grab some measurements since you know what's happening? I'll get all set up to run here. Last time I installed, it's probably three years ago. Like actually installed, I might show up and help with a, a piece here and there, but I'm not doing this part, that's for sure. And then Will's got the good snips for cutting miters. even use these type of stands. Never in my life have I used these, this style. Pretty fancy. There we go. Do I know how many times I've used the guillotine in my life? How many? Like four. We've got our miter strip here. We have cut our gutter at 45 to where this fits just perfect. We're gonna use two zips in the front, an inch and a half in the back. I'm gonna get everything to line up before we put our zips in. Get everything perfect on this side. And then we'll use inch and a half in the back to hold everything tight. And we'll get that sealed up and we're finished up. All right. So today we're here quoting this massive apartment complex that has been Hacker McHackerson together. And uh, they've got some five inch gutter that's been up there for God knows how long. That they actually tried to take the spike and ferrules down and then reinstall them. Um, looks like absolute garbage. Um, some six inch that's decent, like might be salvageable. Um, but regardless, half of it's missing its downspouts. Just an absolute mess. This is a prime example of taking the lowest bid on everything. We're dealing with a national company. Um, they took the lowest bid. So homeboy that we just talked to is the new site super because the last one got fired because of all this crap um so richard is like dude i'm sick of this i just want somebody that's gonna come in and take care of it the right way um he said two other companies out here uh, we are number three um it's our three bids and they're all gonna get and he's like it's gonna be priced though i'm gonna tell you right now they're gonna pick on price that's what these companies do um so hopefully we can uh we can convince them on paper i know we got him sold we got homeboy sold um it's if he can sell us that's it. That's the game when you play these these big monster games. And we do it all in-house, so you're, we're not going to go got, get guys from Home Depot. Well, um, that's already a <laughs> Will here is, uh, is one of our lead guys, and he's been doing gutter how many years, Will? Ten years. Ten years. So you're not going to get this product. Um, well, good, because I can't <laughs> sell this product. No, no, you can't. And uh, I'm having a hard time selling all the other little... Uh, kinky problems that are over here like um, at least you got drip cap on top of the windows you know a lot of guys skip that and some quarter inch PVC blood. up there and uh, that cow what is that corner product is that PVC or is that cement board too uh, it's, it, it's all five, five quarter it's all five quarter just oh just okay five well you know what they're using for that fascia trim that's just like three eighths yeah, that's okay too, but I think I want to run some of that 5.4 behind it. Right, something to yeah, like... I've got that in stock. I've got uh, 3.5 and 5.5 in stock over there. When we rip some of this off, right, and go to replace it, if we see some some hackery under the fascia, uh, do we call yeah. you? Do, uh, yeah, what do you want to... I'm, I'm on uh, 
the five days a week out okay. on property. So okay. So if I may be over on three, but it takes me five minutes to come over here. Okay. And I'll take a look at it. Hey, that looks like that filled up full of water. Yeah. It did not last. It looked like it blew the seam open over here on the end. Is that what I'm looking at? Well, it looks like they just, uh, no, the only, there's only one spike in it on that end. Yeah, well, it's, it's the so. nail. It's all yeah. the nail through. But it's only that one nail. I don't see an, I don't see another one. I don't see another one. So they had one nail over 10 foot, 12 foot. That's the issues That's what, that I'm having on this job. Okay. Uh, and that this one has got this big smile in it, so you know it's got a gallon of water sitting up in that. We got this one here. Let's all goofball too. No, that well, they got the original estimate was to a detach and reset, and they did both of those. They detached it and, they and reset. then they reset it. Except for the downspouts. But. <laughs> okay. Uh, they had those all put over into a into a corner, uh, not numbered, not labeled, and in uh, a scrapper got. It. Yeah, I believe that. And it was done. So uh, okay. but you'll see uh, as y'all walk through here. I need the garbage out and get in. Right. If, uh, this one may be salvageable. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Well, I tell you what. Am I allowed to put a ladder up there and just see? Okay. All right, I want to see what type of hangers they're using, and because there's there's different hangers out there where once they get used once, they're kind of they they're kind boxes. of one-time use. They had boxes of them. Uh, most of them are the the ones that you buy from Lowe's, a five or six with a screw in. With it. a screw in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I saw them all over the place. Okay. I'm not a gutter guy. Most of them are. We can reuse them. All right. I just want to see before I you know I'd rather under promise and over deliver than. And vice so, versa. Uh, I, I uh, inherited uh, this nightmare over here um, the last week of August. Oh, so they, shoot. So they fired their site super and they, they uh, brought me in to try to correct it. Okay. But I mean, there's just so much wrong. You can't correct, correct it. No. Rip it out and well, break. that's it, man. And that's, that's going to be the thing, too. You know, we're going to have to have some sort of. All right. Well, the guideline is this. Uh, if it has surface nails in it, yeah, it's down anyway. It's down. It's, it's messed Kay. up. If it's missing, then it needs to be replaced. And so I've got about half the downspouts right here. here. Another half or not. I have to put some flashing in there. God, is that? That's uh, several layers of roof metal. Yeah. Okay. Where the roofers came in after Sally, and they decided that they were. Now this one had gutters up on the roof the other day. And these others. Oh, yeah, they're still up there. What? Ah, oh, they've moved around. That's a shame. You, you, uh, I'm gonna get that down for you, you before can, before it you takes someone's head off. You can have them. Well, you okay. Know? <laughs> we'll take it. We'll throw it in our truck. We'll get that down before it takes someone's head off, and you got a bigger problem. So. Yeah, that's so. That's about where the guys were when it fired. Okay. Yeah, I'll clean. We'll clean all that crap off for you real quick. Um. All right, so what I'm, all right, let's keep walking to my truck. I want to show you some stuff. All right, so all the five inch gone. Um, try and save what we can of the six inch. It's not beat up, damaged. And then, uh, cool, easy enough. This is six inch gutter, mm -hmm. all right? This is seven. We're putting seven on everything these days. Okay. Okay, I want to put seven on everywhere we replace with five versus a six because there is a lot of roof here. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so seven inch and it's, six inches ain't keeping up these days and with these Florida rains. So we're getting rid of that. So this is seven inch only. Our gutter cover, okay, we're using Leaf Blaster Pro, all right? So it sits like this and then we put a channel along the backside if we have to, like an F channel or a J channel that it slides into. It sits on a little bit of an angle like this all the pine needles, everything blow off of it like they're supposed to once they dry. But this is the best product that I've ever put on. Right? Okay. I, I put this on my house oh God, five years ago when I was testing all the covers. And this one seems to perform the best. The only thing it doesn't keep out is sand and okay. water. All right. Um, so it's got this cool little dam here that keeps it. This micro mesh is so tight that if it doesn't have that little dam, it overflows. All right. So this is the only one with that proprietary dam and it works. So I love this product. The hood that you have all over that 
you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I see it sticking out in places. Exactly, it goes in, it follows, the crap will follow right in. Cannot tell you how much of that I've removed to, uh, to put this stuff on. It's just, you know, there's no perfect gutter cover, right? And you might still have to, every year or two, get up there with a leaf blower, not you, but one of your guys. It won't be me. Right, Don't and go just room. blow it off or, uh, you know, take a broom up there and just broom it off because pine needles stick perfect or whatever, but sure. it, your gutters will be clean, right? So it'll be a lot easier to clean than that. So those are, uh, that's it. You know the game, yep. you know the gutter, but I just want to show you the difference between six and seven. Um, we're, we're putting seven inch up only. And uh, so what I do on this, is obviously we can fix the six if we need to, right? Uh, we can buy some six inch hangers and whatnot. Um, that's not a big deal, right? We'll fix what we can. I'm not gonna try and rake you over the coals on this. This is a huge project that um, has already gone a little bit sideways for y'all. So um, we'll save you where we can, and then we'll just put the new seven inch up okay, where we perfect. can. All right, so building 41 to 56, let's, um, so I would do, Twelve buildings. There's twelve, but um, here's here's how I'd do this. Okay. Well, I'd go like this. I'd go forty-one to fifty-six, and then we'll do. It's obviously not going to be even remotely to scale. Right. Because you can probably just do one then. Huh? Right. Are these things identical front and back? Yeah. They are. Okay, 363 feet of gutter, 12 downspouts on one building. Holy shit balls. It's gonna make the year if you get it. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Tell us what they bid it at. Do you think yeah. it would? Maybe. Oh, Richard, what do I got coming at? Yeah, I think we should try it. Because oh, I think well. we need to know that. Right. In Richard, actually, you want to go with us anyways. Just tell us what do we got to come in at. Send me, send me the lowest bid so I can see what they're quoting and let us win this. So I'm up here taking down a bunch of gutter product that another gutter company decided to leave up on this roof. We're in Florida, people. Uh, it gets windy here, right on the beach. When I say right on the beach, I mean I'm looking down the road and I see the ocean. I'm up here on the roof right now and it is windy. You can probably hear it in my mic and it's mind boggling to me that anybody in their right mind would leave this up here. This is something I'd expect out of my five-year-old daughter, not a gutter company. I wouldn't, this is not a gutter company. These are some jabronis who learn how to do gutter somewhere. They got the low bid and they got the job. So we're here doing this for free because it's the right thing to do and we want to get this job. But yeah, this is bonkers. Hey, this, gar this is garbage gutter cover. In fact, that people pay to put this on their home, that people sell that crap boggles my mind. There's no such thing as a perfect gutter cover in this world, but that's like the furthest thing from even close to perfect, so it just pisses me off when people do stupid stuff. See, it's gonna take me four minutes to get all this crap off this roof. So that this apartment complex doesn't get hit with a crippling lawsuit. It's gonna cost them millions of dollars. But they went with the cheapest bid on all this crap. Their roof, I don't know if you guys can see this. First row shingle starts right here. And there's a one inch, inch and a half of the next row hanging out. Three quarters of an inch down there two inches here. What they did is rather than measuring and doing a roof right and making the reveal what they needed it to be coming up to here 
and then entering a full row here the rest of the way up they just start with a full row here work their way down and cut that crap off like hackaronis mind-boggling what people do and how they freaking sleep at night <laughs>